Casal. I've had him for about five years. He came into our barn originally as a sales horse and he turned out better than we expected. And a few years later, he's still with us at 13. He's my top horse right now. Um, he's taken me throughout the world on Nations Cups teams and million dollar events and he really turned out to be a horse we weren't expecting to have. He is very quirky and he's actually grown out a few of them. It I guess runs along the Casal bloodlines but when we first got him I mean he would back up so fast. Uh, I lost him actually the first day that I, I took him out of his stall and the first day I met him in the US. He um, backed up down a hill and then ran away and I <laughs> kind of thought that I was a goner after that. So. Uh, he's lost a few of those, but he's still quirky, and I think that's also what makes him so special and makes him jump so well. You know, he'll be a little bit funny in the schooling rings because he gets really nervous. And you wouldn't think so because he's such a lackadaisical horse at home, and he's so lazy. Um, he loves bananas. That is his ultimate treat. He's just a character in the barn. He makes funny faces. He rolls his tongue to the side of his mouth and sticks it out. He's quite a ham especially for treats and especially when people walk into the barn, so that's kind of why he has the front stall. So Tuesday is kind of all about uh, setting the tone for our week, really getting him working, um, really utilizing his body and warming it up before we jump some big jumps this weekend. So today I really wanted to get him off my leg a little bit, get him listening to me, listening to my uh, leg and seat and hands, and then I would hop him over a few fences just to kind of get his legs warmed up a little bit. Um, before we go into some big classes. He's more of a, like a lazy, quieter horse. So he's on kind of more of a pro energy base. And supplements, we like to keep everything kind of natural and easy and we kind of believe that less is more. So he's really on just a few supplements. Um, the main features we believe in are um, helping gut and electrolytes. We believe we kind of put them in a little bit of an unnatural setting to jump big fences with huge crowds. So we need to supplement that with a little bit of gut health. And so he'll always be on kind of gastro ease and to show if it's hot out, maybe more electrolytes or some pro energy to pump him up. Especially for hot days, we really believe in the Lactolex formulas. It's hugely uh, helps in muscle recovery especially jumping those huge fences and then having to jump again the next, the next day. So um, that's a huge proponent of our feeding program. And then his, usually his week schedules when he's not showing, um, he'll get out usually, I like to add in one or two days a week of off his back work. So lunging, so will work. The band behind the butt, kind of to get their, their hind end working a little bit. And then I also like to supplement that with an afternoon treadmill walk. So I believe getting out as much as possible is nice, doesn't have to be hard work. Um, he always goes in the paddock um, for at least an hour or two, if not more. And um, we just really try and keep him happy. And I always have to, every other day or so, go on a trail ride, because he, he'll work, but it's not his favorite thing. So I like to keep him happy, and I think it really helps in the show ring as well. And we've been fortunate enough to have pretty good feet in our barn. Um, you know, occasionally we'll always supplement that with Regenix. Uh, it really, really helps in kind of mending any, any chips or any kind of broken bits of their hoof. And just really, I mean, if you don't have a foot, you don't have a horse. So that kind of is the baseline for where you start. 